quadratic, uh, using the quadratic formula or quadratic solver. What's nice about the Casio here, when you have it in the math mode, which is this mode where it doesn't approximate. <coughs> and I'll show you. If I want to use quadratic solving, I do have to go into a different mode on both these calculators. So I go into equation, and I'm doing a quadratic, which is number 3, and then it asks me for the coefficients. So I could say 3x squared plus 1x minus 1. Oop, not my. I want that minus, minus 1 put it in, hit equals again, and it comes up with my roots. And what's cool is, it, uh, as you can see, it's a exact answer, it leaves the radical, it simplifies everything and reduces fractions if it can, and then if I want the decimal value, I can just hit this, convert, this uh, button here, it converts it, and there you go, there's your decimal, I can swi uh, switch back and forth, and then my x2 is right there, same thing, I can look at the decimal. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm not exactly sure, I, I haven't looked into this, but it also provides us x value minimum and y value minimum. Alright, let's look at the sharp here. Um, I would go into also a different mode. Mode, I want to go into 6 is the equation, and I want to do a quadratic. Ask me for my coefficients, 3x squared plus 1x minus 1 for that. Incidentally, I like that the minus key is here as opposed to being on the Casio kind of out of the way up here. Alright, equals, and it gives me my two same roots, but, it, but there is no uh, exact answer given. It's just a decimal. So not as handy for checking your work if you have to show, um, you know, show an exact answer.